What's up YouTube, it's your boy Pro Jamaica and I'm back with another video man. Today <clears throat> is the finale. We have the final position. Best character for the SF position man. Who will take the spot? Let's find out man. Let's get right into it. And as usual guys, we won't be looking at the 50 or 150 rating characters, 500 coins, 9000 coins, 160 contract shards because they are non-feature characters. They have no features so you literally can't, you can't, you can't take advantage of the character because they have no feature, right? So let's get right into the 300 400 contract shard character. All right, so the first SF we have here is Lorsha. Let's get right into the stats before we check anything else. 300 diamonds, 400 contract shards for these 300 rating characters. Evolve tree is stamina limit, stamina recovery. So it's very similar to the SG. Uh, and here you can see there's some block resistance, blocking range, uh, drive tumble for your dribbling, uh, KD, uh, I guess knockdown resistance for your drives, and uh, yeah, some shot speed, man. So once you get these characters up to S rank, you could be pull up jumping, you know, way, you know what I'm saying, way faster. So let's get right into her uh, stats 223 mid. Uh, inside shot is close to the power forward, I want to say. Layup dunking is close to power forward. Well, they're basically a forward, so. Really balanced stats. 210 run. Whoa. I didn't know SFs had this much run. But let's get into her feature, man. <clears throat> Lorsha's feature is called Racer 1. Marginally decreases stamina cost. In offensive round this could be useful so for somebody who is gonna be spamming a lot of dribbles needing to uh, conserve their stamina to either get to the rim or you know what I'm saying get that cheeky little step back after uh, spamming some dribble drive so this character will be really helpful for that it could help you uh, beat your opponent because you're using less stamina than you actually are supposed to so yeah this character would be really helpful for beating your opponent to the rim, uh, to those special spots that you know you could knock down your shots from. So uh, she would be useful for uh, this feature would be useful for that reason. Uh, and take into note, guys, their mid shot resistance is plus 8.5 percent. So if they're making those 88 contests, just know it's a 70 uh, 70 percent contest. Uh, just because of this and other extra stats that may be added so let's get right into the next All character. right, so this is a very familiar face here. We have Kai point guard SG and SF character uh, So far no difference in the stats 223 mid 210 run uh, Yeah, layup layup dunking range is still the same so his feature is called Ega 3 in the mid mid-range area Enter opponent's interruption zone for one seconds to marginally decrease opponent's speed and shake off rate for five seconds. Whoa! So just by being near somebody, you could decrease their speed and their shake off rate. And this is a marginal amount. This is looking really broken right now, to be honest. Because if you could decrease someone's speed, they can't chase you, they can't follow you as fast, so they're going to have to burn stamina to chase you down, and then you could just cross them up and take their ankles, so. This character is really interesting for that, I'm really liking this feature, but yeah, let's get on to the next character, man. Alright, so here we have the Colonel, Colonel, C Colonel, whatever they call it, <laughs> Colonel, Colonel, well, it, it, it it, the, where I'm from, they, they they pronounce this as Colonel, so I don't know what y'all uh, uh, pronounce this as, but drop drop it down in the comments, man. Colonel, Colonel, wh whatever uh, y'all's pronunciations are for these uh, for this uh, name, position, rank. I don't know, 
but that's his name so let's just go with name for this one uh so same stats same stats no added if there's a plus five on any of the stats i'll just go ahead and point that out but we're in the 300 rating 300 diamonds 400 contract shards range right now so let's see here what uh the kernels has to offer a success a successful mid shot his feature is called gray here too by the way guys let me not jump into reading this before i uh make sure to just point out these things a successful mid shot marginally increases mid shot field goal effect can be stacked three times and will be cleared upon missing a shot or gaining a two point lead so this character is really strong if you want to catch up if you're behind if you've been missing most of your shots um, this character will help you out with that and it's three stacks so um, missing a missing a, a shot or gaining a two-point lead so if you're catching up if you're behind man this character will literally the this is ice in the veins bro this is ice in the veins the is in a feature bro literally bro this man has the cold cut look at his cut bro <laughs> but yeah the colonel will help you you know what i'm saying close that little little deficit you, you got you got going on there and uh, bring you back into the to the leading position. So this feature is really strong for that. I really like this feature. Uh, the only thing is, why limit it to a two point lead? Why not just keep it? You know, what I'm saying active the whole time. But it's a really great character if you're behind, if you want to catch up, stuff like that. This character will help you out. But let's get right into the next character. All right. So next character on the list here is Sophia. Triple position character as well. She's been through the uh, point guard and SG uh, videos. So here we have Cutie. Cutie 1. So she's primarily a SF. She's the first 400 rating character for the SFs. Uh, mid shot resistance is up by 5%. So 13.5% for the mid shot resistance. I'm expecting a yep, 10%, 2%. Uh, not a big difference for these uh, stats on the evolve tree. So I won't even go over them. Uh, as you, I said before, I will be going for the plus five on er, er, any stat. If there is a plus five, there is no plus five. So 700 diamonds, 900 contract shards. Let's get right into her feature, man. I really like her features uh, to begin with, so I, I hope th they have an interesting one for her primary position. Uh, shaking off an opponent slightly increases mid-range in mid interruption resistance. So you gain increased mid-range interruption resistance upon this percentage right here or any extra stats you could have. So that's really strong. Effect will be cleared when you are three points ahead. Hmm. Uh, this is a really interesting feature. Uh, you gain more mid shot resistance. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. Cleared when you're three points ahead, so you have to make two 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 pointers to clear this feature off. I don't. I mean, you could keep getting two point leads, but why would you be playing for that? I I don't really like this feature to be honest, but. Uh, yeah i don't really like this feature to be honest i ain't gonna cap to you i don't like this feature shaking off an opponent slightly increases mid-range interruption resistance cleared after being three points you you don't want to be playing to be only three points ahead you want to snowball and get as big of a lead as possible because when it comes to the final minutes of the game like it gets really hard to score so uh, having a, a feature like this where you, you you're mainly reliant on scoring two pointers uh it's kind of, it's kind of tough it doesn't up allow you to get a big lead and abuse a, a useful feature the feature to me is not useful for that reason it doesn't allow you to go for a big lead i i don't know how to feel about it to me i don't really like it to be honest i'm just gonna be honest with you. i don't really like it but yeah let's move on to the next character all uh, right another triple position character as well here we have victor 
13.5 steel, no plus 5 on the stats, 700 diamonds, 900 contract shards. He's been in the SG and point guard rankings. I think, he, yes, he was the best SG. So let's get into his, uh, ooh, slightly decreased stamina cost in defensive round. So if you're a defensive SF and you want to, you know what I'm saying, get those little chase down blocks, help at the rim, rush outside to your to your man who's trying to shoot a three-pointer and get those power blocks down, this character is going to help you do that. Uh, not really useful for anything else. I don't really like this feature because there's no mid-shot resistance, there's no stacks towards helping you score. SF is a defensive scoring position. It's a tactical clinical scoring position you want to get into your spots and you want to get those knockdowns man that's all that the position is about you want to get those stops you want to get into your position and you want to knock down those shots nothing to help you with that here so not really big help but uh yeah let's get on to the next character man. all right so here we have the character for the big ballers here i'm hoping for something good on her feature we have avis sf first 500 rating character there have not been any release uh other 500 rating SF, so she's the f the only 500 rating SF character right now. Really like her character design. The little bob on her here is similar to Taylor's, and look at these features. Sheesh! I think I was checking her out in the SG video. Let's not start on that, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, no plus five on any of the stats. She's available only through legendary contracts or legend or contract shards. So you're going to have to save up for a little while or get lucky with the login time. They basically give away stuff uh, at certain times. I think it's 9 to 12 or 10 to 12 uh, p.m. Eastern. I'm Eastern, so I'm giving you guys Eastern time. Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But yeah, let's get into her passive and features, man, and check out her evolve. So first of all, I'm going to go into her evolve, plus 50 stamina, so 200 out the gate, just like the point guards and SGs. 4% uh, increase here, 0.20 increase, 0.3 uh, increase here, 0.4 increase here. Uh, not, very big increase, I ain't gonna cap to you for these stats. And they're all in percentages. They aren't flat numbers to extra stats. So the more extra stats you get from your clubs and uh, cards and stuff like that, the greater these, these percentages will boost your stats. So keep that in mind when you're going for these characters. But yeah, let's get right into her uh, passive here. Mid shot resistance plus 15%. Sheesh! So if somebody, if you shoot a, 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 a 88 contest, you're basically shooting a 70% and uh, medium minus 40 will be like a 20%. So really strong out the gate with this mid shot resistance already. Plus you're going to have hidden stats to boost this up. So uh, yeah, let's get into her feature, man. Fairly increased block resistance mid shot to mid shots after score a two pointer if that can be stuck stacked twice sorry about that just now and will be cleared after being two plus points ahead so if you score a two if you score a, 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 a three uh this character gives you a stack of block resistance so anytime you're shooting a mid-range and you go oh man what the what the hell is going on here i'm sure i got that block on this character this is why <laughs> this is why right here i actually haven't checked this out before this is a really interesting feature uh the thing with these features is that they're limited by the uh limited by the fact that it, it, you lose it after having a lead so uh it's two stacks though so that's really useful four points you could gain for a four point lead and then lose these stacks that's really useful to me uh but yeah let's let's get into this conclusion and figure out who the best sf character is man let's get right into it i ain't gonna cap y'all it, it it was it was tough it was a tough decision man it was tough between two characters because of the fact 
that uh, these two characters are both characters who could help you uh, just be a tactical just clinical shooter uh, help you get to your positions better and just straight up knock down the shot with confidence with these uh, features here but I think I'm gonna I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Kai man I'm gonna give it to Kai here uh, in the mid-range area enter opponents interruption zone for one second to decrease opponents speed and shake off rate for five seconds man just by being near somebody when you start cooking up doing that little crossover move you know what I'm saying this character goes uh, give you a higher chance to sh cross up that character cross up whoever is guarding you and uh, slow them down so if you're somebody who likes getting to your spots uh, being a tactical shooter uh, clinical finishing in those positions this character is gonna help you do that man that's why I picked this character uh, I mean the colonel is good because of his gray here a successful mid shot but it's limited to a two point lead that won't really help you when you're in those tough games where you need to hit those shots this character is gonna help you out you know what I'm saying regardless of whatever is going on and it's not limited to anything you know what I'm saying it is lower mid shot resistance than say Avis or one of the higher 400 rating characters but you're taking advantage of shake off you're lowering somebody's shake off rate and speed towards you so you know what i'm saying if they burn out all their stamina and they're trying to chase you it's basically they're, they're cooked this is literally cooked this is hashtag cooked in a feature bro so uh i hope you enjoy these this series man i really put a lot of effort into this series i started off with a lot of research and then uh i basically uh decided to do it my own way like just my own style of things and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it man um it was a really fun series to cover so far hopefully they drop some new characters so I could review them I will be doing like solo character reviews as these characters come out so I hope you guys are looking forward to that man just drop in the comments what you guys thought about this uh, this little series so far best character series man and uh, yeah Kai winning it for the SF position he looks kinda he looks drippy too is this a little taper fade little taper fade with the dreads yes yeah, sir with the little uh, human races what are, what are these Balenciagas these little stone steppers but yeah my guy wins it for the SF let me know how you guys feel about this felt about this series so far uh, any characters that are released in the future will be a uh, solo review character so uh, yeah it's your boy Pro Jamaica out man hope you guys enjoyed there will be no codes for this video as I gave out all the codes in my stream yesterday so 100 fan codes given given out I hope you guys uh, enjoyed those codes use them to help out your uh, team and uh, upgrade your characters man but uh, yeah that's been it for the best in each position series hopefully uh, you guys are satisfied with it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is your boy pro Jamaica out man peace